All right, let's get started. I've got the declutter basket here and I've got a couple of baskets to get started on uh, decluttering. Mm, I think you are too tight a shot. Let me zoom you out. All right, now I think we can see a little better what I'm doing. It was So we got declutter basket here and I've got some little baskets pulled out of my lipstick drawer to start on. And this first little basket here is lip liners and lip balms. I'm just gonna zoom through these real quick because it's not that interesting to talk about. <laughs> so uh, I just got a few lip balms that I like that I'm working on still and one lip scrub here. These are my go-to as far as any sort of lip balm situation. This is from the Rebel Rose collection from Wet Wild a lip scrub. I've got quite a bit left in here still and I'm working through it. Hopefully we'll get this finished up this year. So that's staying because it's just a lip scrub and I'm almost about halfway through it. So I want to tear through it. I've got a agave lip mask sample working through that. One of my favorite lip masks right here. Oh, and I also have a Laneige lip sleeping mask in my bathroom for before bed. And I have one of these in there as well, the clear one. But these are the e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balms. These are fantastic, pretty similar to the Bite Agave, except these come in pretty colors. Well, I think the Bite Agave comes in pretty colors too now, in flavors. So yeah, anyways, pretty comparable, quarter of the price. I'd uh, say so just go ahead and get the e.l.f. ones, but I do enjoy the Bite Beauty. I got this little balm from the Rebel rose collection. It's a color change balm. So you can see it goes quite berry pink and it it feels nice on the lips you know it's not anything spectacular. Kind of sinks in and stains them but I just I don't use it so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. And yes I've already chipped a nail I'm so annoyed. And I got my little uh, NARS lip balm here. This is in Laguna. Just a mini, and yeah, I like this little guy. I put it on before a film, you know, times like that, and it's just a really nice kind of uh, tan Laguna color. So, cute little lip balm. Definitely not worth NARS prices by any means. Nothing to write home about here. It's just a basic lip balm within the classic NARS colors, but that is Laguna. I've got a sample of this uh, Smashbox Instamat lipstick transformer that I forget I have and yeah I'm gonna hang on to this because I <laughs> might need it. I feel like it's it's a handy little product and it's just a sample size. Alright let me let me tear through these lip liners real quick because they're really not that exciting. I got Bite Beauty lip primer. Alright here's some from e.l.f. These are kind of dry but they're not bad. They're just pretty <laughs> basic lip liners. These three are from the Retro Paradise collection and this one is from the Electric Mood. This is a really really pretty super dark almost black color so I like that one. It's, it's fun to have so it's gonna stay in the collection as well as these three neutral ones because they're just colors I reach for kind of on a day-to-day a -day basis. They're really good in just neutral shades. Not a fantastic formula but Charlotte Tilbury, I've got two Walk of No Shames for some reason. I think one I was sent and then one I uh, purchased myself. And one of them actually says Walk of Shame <laughs> because it's old. And we got one Pillow Talk. Keep reading because I use those pretty frequently. This one is from... Alright, I got two MAC ones here. MAC is kind of my favorite lip liner formula. I got Auburn. A classic and then I've got Spice. Spice is probably my favorite lip liner of all time. Keeping those two. NYX. I love NYX lip liners. I have quite a few of those as well floating around in here. So let's see what all do we have from NYX here. I've got this really nice super dark shade in Club Hopper. Just a really good plum type of color. Very handy to have. Uh, we got, this is Nude Beige. I don't think I like this one. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Nude Beige. I'm gonna hang on to it to kind of decide if I like it or not. Cause look, in a swatch, I like it. But I feel like on my lips, it might not have enough color. But yeah. And then I've got Vintage. Vintage is 
a favorite shade right there. Just a really pretty burgundy type color. Soft Spoken, a favorite. It's down to a nubbin. I love Soft Spoken. It's one of my favorite lip liners as well as Los Angeles. It's another favorite shade. It's kind of a mauve -y, um, almost grayish type of color. And then I have a black one in Alien, which is a black lip liner. All right, and this one from Avon that is so old, but I love the color of it. <laughs> I love this color. It's such a good formula. Very, very similar to the MAC formula. So I'm, I'm gonna, I think, I think I can get a couple more sharpens out of this. I can, so it's stank. <laughs> Cause I love it, I love it so much. It's just such a good color. Shh, don't judge me on that one. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Essence. I got a couple here from Essence. Uh, let's see, we got Natural, I think was what this one's called. And it's just a peachy shade. It's pretty good. Not mad at it. And yeah, very, very affordable, these Essence ones. And this one I think is Soft Berry, which is a really nice mauve shade. It's got a bit of a smokiness to it. Love that one. I got a NARS one here. Uh, this is in star rocking and i just picked this up the other day look at that isn't that pretty i feel like that could double as eyeliner with that that purple shade so it may get used as eyeliner at some point but it's very pretty bite beauty one here this is 34 034 just a really nice kind of mauvey berry color it's, it's a good shade uh wet and wild i have got two from wet and wild here I usually have more from Wet n Wild. I think I have what we got. This is Don't Be a Plum. Don't be a prune. Yeah, don't be a prune. This is a another kind of dark berry shade. I don't often need this color for some reason. I have a lot of lip liners in this shade for some reason, but whatever. Then we got Lay Down the Mauves, a favorite. And I also really like, I think they're like natural or something shade. These are really, really good lip liners by the way from Wet n Wild. Very affordable. Very very creamy and nice. See how easy that goes on? I love them. They're, they're really really good. I had two here from Bodyography I think is the brand. Yeah Bodyography. Uh, we got Rosewood and Pouty. These are really pretty. Really nice shades. Pouty is a nice dark kind of plummy berry shade and then more of a nice everyday kind of neutral shade. Uh, Milani, we got an understatement lip liner and this is Shoop. I really, really love this lip liner. It is a favorite. It is a gorgeous brown lip liner and very 90s, very good. And also really good formula. What, uh, this is ColourPop. A couple of color pops here. This is from the original Hocus Pocus collection. I think this is Sarah. Oh, it was Lucky Rat Tail from the Sarah Lip Kit. And it's just a nice uh, kind of burgundy berry shade. I got a lot of lip liners in that color. <laughs> and then this is a Makeup Revolution one that I really like that came in a lip kit. And I just, I really like the liner in the lip kit. The lipstick was awful and decluttered it a very long time ago, but I really love the lip liner. And then this is another ColourPop one that I think it's time to go because yeah, it's it's time to go. You just going to go into the garbage. But this was the shade Why is it so dirty? Good god. Tulips. I liked Tulips a lot. I used this pretty frequently, but it's almost exactly the same as the NARS. So yeah, it, it, it needs to go. It's, it's very old. I just threw it in the empties. And then I got my V lip liner, modern lip definer in Bark. I mean, another absolute favorite. So that's gonna stay. I did, I got rid of one lip liner. I don't have many lip liners though. I feel like I just got a lot of the same shade for some reason. Right, okay, and lip balms are done. Okay, so random basket. This There's not going to be too much rhyme or reason to this. Some of these will be done by brand. Some of it isn't. So let's get started on this one. I'm going to go ahead and pull like um, brands. 
I guess, and formulas together. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try to do this by brand. All right, starting with NYX, I have a bunch of liquid suede. We're gonna run through those pretty quickly here. These are favorites in the full size. We got Retro, Soft Spoken, Alien, Stone Fox, and Cherry Skies. Those are staying because I love these shades and they're still uh, good. They have it, they don't smell weird or anything like that. I've just used a lot of these. So yeah, these get used constantly, honestly. And yeah, these will be staying because they are favorite shades. All right, and then some more liquid suede's here. That's not a liquid suede. We've got a bunch of kind of crazier colors that I think I'm gonna let go of some. I honestly have not needed a blue lipstick, so yeah, this lavender can go. This is uh, Industrial Paradise, which is really cool. I just, I have not reached for colors that look like this in a very long time. And I don't see myself needing them anymore. Like I'm just, I'm just not into crazy lipstick shades at this current point in my life, at this season. But if I end up so inclined, I can always buy some. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna keep one of these purple ones that I really liked. I like Foul Mouth. I think this is the one because it was kind of unique. It was more of a navy blue, yeah. I love that one. That one's really cool, so it's gonna stay. Jet Set, I don't think I need a Jet Set. It's just a very, very blue, inky blue. Nah, not for me. We got Subversive Socialite. I think I did do like this purple, because it's a little bit, yeah, I'll hang on to that one. So it might, you know, it's, you never know when you might need a purple lipstick. <laughs> and then we get this very bright one that I don't see myself ever using called Amethyst. And it's getting a bit dry. So yeah, that one can go. Uh, what else we got here? These two are three corally shades. I don't, I don't know. They're not quite the right tone for me. So this is Orange County. It's just really too too bright and too kind of paint looking or chalky. I don't know, something about it that just doesn't work for me. And same with this one. This one is foiled again, which I do believe I've used in the past, but it's just, well, this one's gone off. So yeah, it's, it's gonna go. And then we got Kitten Heels, which is a really nice red. So I'm probably gonna keep Kitten Heels. Well, you know, Kitten Heels is a bit dry and chunky feeling, so I think it's gonna go. <laughs> I have so many red lipsticks anyway, it's not a big deal. That is not a NYX. All right, then we get into our more boring shades here. <laughs> kind of shades I love. Sandstorm, really nice tan color, keeping Sandstorm. And it's in good condition still. Uh, we got Brooklyn Thorn, I love Brooklyn Thorn. It is a favorite as well. But oh, it's getting a bit dry, but I think it's okay. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. I got Put It On. Another like really dark purple shade. I'm gonna hang on to that one because it's kind of, it might be useful. It might come in handy. And I still think the NYX Liquid Suede formula is one of the best liquid lipstick formulas. All right, what else we got here? Crushed, oh, this one's so good. This is a really nice shade. That's, it's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that and we got Honeymoon, which I do believe I hardly ever use, but it's a very pretty color. So I'm gonna keep Honeymoon. I like Grazy shade lipsticks. Like I loved that trend so much. Uh, we got Downtown Beauty, gorgeous, gorgeous brown lippy. Hell yeah, we gonna keep that one. Club Hopper, I like Club Hopper a lot. It's a really good, deep, almost black shade. Got No Envy, I have no memory of ever using this shade. And I don't think I, that's just not, that's too milky looking. So yeah, I don't really like that shade too much. We got Disorder, I really like Disorder. It's just a pretty, pretty kind of 
smoky berry color. Uh, what we got here? Initiator. Yeah, it's a nice kind of neutral shade. Again, kind of smoky. I like that. Uh, we got a very light nude here. Cairo. I doubt I'm going to be keeping this one because that's just very light. And yeah, that that's too pale for me. So I'm going to let that one go. This is a soft matte cream. It's just too pale. And then we got another really pale soft matte cream here. And this is Tokyo. Yeah, no, it's dried out. London. London, I think I remember really liking London. Yeah, we're keeping London, and London is in good condition. Awesome. This is a really old lip gloss. I think it needs to go. This is Devil's Food Cake, I believe. It's a NYX Butter Gloss, but it's just, I think this might have been the first <sighs> butter gloss I bought, and the only one. It's pretty, but oh my god, when have I reached for that? It's just a messy color. I don't need it. And then I got another soft matte lip cream here, and this is in Abu Dhabi, I believe. This is pretty old, so no, it's still pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Abu Dhabi. So I do like that color a lot. And then from NYX, I have this one. This is single serving and this was a candy stick glowy glowy lip color I do like this one I've used this uh, quite a bit well not quite a bit a few times <laughs> it's very very pretty berry kind of lip stain very cooling feel very much a lip stain but I like the shade of that and yeah it's staying so that narrowed down my NYX lip collection quite a bit because I feel like I had a lot of NYX lip colors and I think NYX does a really good job on lip products. So anyway, right. All right, so NYX is done. Let's uh, pick another brand. All right, next we have CoverGirl. I don't really have a whole lot from Color CoverGirl in the lipstick department, but I do have these few. Uh, this is a Clean Fresh Lip Tint in Pink Tur. Pink Tur? Pink Tur Perfect. P pink Tur Perfect. That sounds like Spink Tur. I don't know. I, that's a horrible name. This is like picture perfect. That's all right. It's just a little lip tint business in pink. Uh, I, I don't need this. So <laughs> it's going to go. It's just a lip gloss, basically. This is a CoverGirl Stay Long Wear lipstick. One of these guys. I like this shade. I don't know what it's called. It's 619. Yeah, 619. <laughs> Whoops. It's just a really pretty color though, and I, I do use it. It's kind of one of those your lips but better type shades, but it's got a little bit of depth in it. I like it, so it's staying. Uh, this is, uh, what are these called? These were like the melting pout mattes. I really liked these when they came out. They smell kind of like burnt wax in a very weird way. They kind of separate some of them, so it's a bit weird. This is Never Say Never. Let's see if I can like mix them up. Yeah, you could have like mix these up. They did that uh, pretty soon after purchasing. But I think I'm going to let this shade go because it just didn't perform very well. It was a bit patchy. But it's pretty. It's a very pretty color. But it's just, I don't reach for it. And I've got some in a formula I like a little better from in that shade. Alright, then we got... Secret Secret. I like Secret Secret quite a bit, I do recall. It's really pretty. Again, it's a really nice kind of soft matte lip cream formula. A little bit more liquid lipsticky than those, but it's well, it's more soft matte stay all day lipsticks. Then we got Paradise Lost, which is a favorite. I really like Paradise Lost a lot. This color, beautiful brown. And like these are kind of moosey. That's that's what I'm getting at. And then we got Aristocratic, which is another favorite. I quite enjoy these. And yeah, very pretty. So those will be staying, these three, and this one little guy. So yeah. Alright, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm filling my little the clutter basket up. Look. Look at this. Hey. I'm usually not very cutthroat with this kind of stuff and like I wanna keep everything. Right, so let's move on to Wet n Wild because I have a lot of Wet n Wild with these. Uh, so I'm just going to shove them over here and then I've got a whole other container right here. I think well, there's two uh, Jeffree Stars in there. But okay, so 
So let's talk about Wet n' Wild. See, let's start with these two lipsticks on top. This is just their, one of these is their $1.99 lipstick and one of these is the 99 cent one. I can't remember which is which here. So we got Cashmere, which is a really pretty color. Oh, yeah, I do like that shade. And hey, this still smells good. Sweet. So this is a still functioning lipstick. All right, we're gonna keep a Cashmere around. These tend to go bad pretty fast, so I'm happy that that one's still good because that's a pretty color. And then we got Mochalicious, a oh, classic. Still smells good. Little, little dry. No, it's gone off. I can smell it now that I, I disturbed it. <laughs> it's definitely gone bad. Uh, but Mochalicious is a, a gorgeous gorgeous lipstick. Uh, we got this little stick one here. Is this the only one? All right. Uh, this is one of their velvet matte lip colors. This is in the shade. Does it matter? Because I don't think it's hickory smoked. Oh, I tried to sharpen it because I'm an idiot. Just a twist up. These are really nice. Very similar to like the NARS lipsticks. Kind of powdery. But yeah, I think it's time to let this one go. Just because, uh, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't feel like it did before. <laughs> right, Cloud Pout in, this is their Marshmallow Lip Mousse. This is in the shade Gimme Shmore, I believe. Yeah, are you Shmore? You Shmore, you Shmore. God, I hate these punning names. <laughs> but I, I love this color. Beautiful, beautiful brown, really nice formula. So that is for sure staying in the collection. I love it. They got these two stains from Wet n Wild. This is in Handle with Care. I hardly use these and they're quite nice. You know, they're pretty little lip stains. I like that color. And then we got Reflective Kisses. They're pretty. They're, they're pretty. Just one of those kind of cooling lip stain products. I think I'm gonna keep. I don't know, they're a bit brighter than what I want them to be. And I don't really do lip stains very often. Cause look at, oh yeah, these a stain. Something terrible. I'm gonna let them go. I, I haven't reached for them since the bottom. Let's see if we can get that off my hand. Nope, that's there forever now. Cool. Right, uh, I got more of those to talk about. Here's just a bunch of lip glosses. I love these, uh, what were these, H horoscope ones. Yeah, these are really cool, they're fun. I got Pisces, which is really pretty gloss. I'm gonna keep Pisces, I love that one. And we got Virgo, Virgo super pretty. These remind me of the Opal Lust from Pat McGrath. I think that's what they're called, the lip glosses she came out with. Very similar. This is Capricorn, of course, because your girl is a Capricorn. And yeah, very Capricorn color. And then I got Libra. Yeah, I think these are really pretty. They, they still smell good, so they're staying. Love them. I think you still find those. And then this one from the Crystal Cavern collection. has got eyeliner stuck to it. Uh, this is in the shade Amethyst. Probably gonna let this one go because I don't use bright purple lipstick <laughs> like that. I don't know why I bought this. I, I, I think I used it in a look. I think it was, it was definitely my cyberpunk makeup phase for sure. Where every look I did had to be like shades of duochromatic purples. All right, let's move on to these. These are the liquid cat suits and the glossy formula and the matte formula. I like these a lot, obviously. Obviously, I collected almost the whole range. So we got from the Pac-Man collection, really pretty peachy gloss here. I like that one a lot, so it's definitely staying. I use it pretty frequently in the summer. I guess we'll go through the glossy ones first. <laughs> Make it a little easier, be a little more organized with it. Right, okay, so the glosses. 
This is from the Rebel Rose collection. This is Bud Romance. I love this one. I love it so much. It's just a very beautiful gloss. And the, the formula of these is so good. We got Late Night Done Right. I think I'm going to let this one go because these just don't work in a glossy format. These kind of colors. They're pretty, but they just aren't functional in this type of formula. Then we got Petal Poison. Another one I love. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Keeping that. We got Sin Nudes. I think Sin Nudes is quite pretty. I like that one a lot. So we'll keep that one. We got Caught You Bare Naked. I think I'm going to let go because this is basically like concealer lips on me. It's just too, too light. Like glossy concealer lips. So yeah. Then we got Mauve Over Girl. Mauve Over Girl, which is fairly similar to Butter Romance, but different. <laughs> and I like it, so yeah. Yeah, it's much more smoky, kind of grayed out a color. It stays. And then Cedar Later. I didn't even have to look at the bottom of this one. I knew what this one was because it's one I love. Cedar Later is a favorite. So yeah, okay, we did a little, a little better there. Let's take out these metallics next. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Not the hugest fan of metallic lipstick, but I do have a few that I like. <laughs> so we got these right here, basically. And this is the shade right on my copper. All these wet and wild names. It's, it's just a pretty kind of rose goldish shade. You know, I don't think I need it though. I, I just, that's not a color I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. <laughs> I think I paid like a uh, dollar for it on clearance, so I'm not that mad about it. Then we got I Don't Desert You, which is really, I love this one. I like that color a lot. That's pretty. Just a very pretty, uh, Deep. It's not super duper metallic. It's just a really pretty color. We got Life's No Pink Nick. Again, really pretty. Just a nice kind of a Christmassy shade, actually. Or fall shade. I like that. So that one's staying. And we got Asai So Serious. It's a pretty kind of more purpley color. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm, I'm gonna hang on to that one. It's a nice berry. And now for just the matte ones, I got the black shade here called So Noir Cool. This is a really good black lipstick and it's from the drugstore. So yeah, definitely keeping that one. I like it quite a bit. And you know what, I'm gonna let the NYX in Alien go because it's just not quite as black as that one. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this one comes off a bit blue sometimes. So I'm gonna keep the wet and wild and let the NYX black lipstick go. Right. Okay, next we got Give Me Mocha. I love Give Me Mocha. This one is so good. Such a good shade. Just a really, really pretty mocha. <laughs> I like any lipstick that says mocha or raisin in it. I'm gonna love it. Uh, we got Kiss of Death. This one. Oh, this is a good one right here. That's a pretty blood red. Like a deep blood red. Bloody nose red. <laughs> then we got Deviant Damsel. Oh, this color I really like too. It's really fun. It's just a unique kind of purple. Very nice. So keeping that. And then Goth Topic I'm keeping. Because A, it's funny. And why not? <laughs> you gotta have at least one kind of Nancy lipstick shade in your collection. And then Caramel Cake, another favorite right here. So yeah, all right. So we'll be keeping from Wet n Wild. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, next let's go through L'Oreal because I don't have a ton of L'Oreal, but I do have some. And we need to declutter. 
because some of these I don't think I use. Um, these two I love a lot. These are the infallibles. They're gonna stay. This is Cowboy and Sweet Tooth. I definitely am keeping Cowboy because ugh, ugh, that's my kind of color. That's like my perfect lipstick and the formula bulletproof. Such a great formula. And yeah, it's just a really kind of nice brownie creamy shade and I don't have a lot of shades like that so it's nice to just have like one on hand because it's not a color I reach for often. Right and then these are the L'Oreal matte lip crayons. These are awesome. I love these. So I've got the shade Flirty Toffee which if you watch the channel you know you know about these. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got Lavender Honey, Lavender Honey, which is like just, I love the name of that. It sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Beautiful, kind of grazy type of shade. It's just gorgeous. And then we got Smooth, Smooth Caramel, Smooth Caramel. I use this one quite a bit. It's really pretty peach. I love these kind of colors, like right here. These are my kind of lip shades, apparently. All right, two of the Color Riche, I believe is what these are called. I got Bronzine, yeah, L'Oreal Color Riche, and Mica. I think I'm gonna let these go because they're quite metallic and just, you know, <laughs> when am I gonna wear that color? It's pretty, but it's just, it's a bit of an 80s brown lipstick metallic that I don't think I need in my life. And Micah's pretty, but again, kind of metallic, and these are feeling a bit, a bit stiff and a bit old, because I have had these for some time in the collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and let those two go. And I got, these are the newer uh, formula they came out with, which I never can think of the name of because it's not on the packaging. But uh, yeah, these are the Color Riche Nude Intense, that's what these are. And I have the shade 182 Nude Extreme. I really like Nude Extreme. The, the bullet is so freaking pretty. I love Nude Extreme. It is such a pretty color too. And these are kind of balmy, glossy finish. Very nice, very nice. Um, definitely I would recommend a lighter shade like Nude Extreme over this one, which is Nude Artistique and New York Artistique is really pretty. Like the tube or the uh, bullet is gorgeous to look at. But the, uh, it's just, it's not the kind of color you want in this formula. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. But man, these are so, just the presentation on these is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. L'Oreal really kind of, I feel like stepped up in their game on these. These look like high end lipsticks. But that color, because these are very smeary, that's gonna go everywhere go absolutely everywhere and make a mess so yeah and those do kind of stain a bit so they're nice so we're gonna keep this little handful from l'oreal go me all right next we got some from la girl they sent me this whole range and i have decluttered a handful of them so i'm gonna try to see if there's any more i want to go ahead and declutter so we're gonna swatch these out this is their Lip mousse, I did a whole swatch video on these and wear test or uh, first impressions and swatch. Uh, these are, this formula is really good and these are really pretty shades. So let's go through them. It's a little misleading what you see on the outside. They're not quite this uh, bright. So this is stunning. It's a pretty color. We got like, See, it's not nearly that vibrant and purpley as it looks in the tube. So I, I do like that color. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. I didn't think I would, but I do. Then we got low key. I think low key is one of my favorites, if I remember correctly. Yep, I like low key. Keeping that one. We got vacation. Vacation's pretty. That stays as well. Uh, Unstoppable. I think I like the Unstoppable a lot. Yep, 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 yep. And the formula is beautiful on these. They're very much like a like 
nude um, NYX liquid suede type of formula, a little bit cooling. Slay is really pretty. I like that. It's a pretty bloody red color. Attitude. Gorgeous orangey red. Oh, yes. Very good. I need to reach for these more because they are so pretty. The outer packaging just misleads me because it's so much more vibrant than what they are. Vibe. I remember liking Vibe a lot. Yeah, Vibe's a nice, nice pink. And we got Moody, which look how bright purple this looks. Oh, well, it is kind of bright purple, but it's a little bit like smokier. This color I think can go. I don't need a purple. And then we got lastly, Squad. And it's just a soft pink. I don't reach for soft pinks like that too often, so I don't think I have any, though. So I better keep that one, because I don't have any. I have like one, I think, that I kept from the NYX Liquid Suede range. So we'll hang on to a soft. I'm not worried about if I have kind of a little bit of repetitiveness in my collection, because I do use all these lippies. I just, or like have a ton of variety. I'm more just getting rid of ones I don't use at all kind of thing. So I know I have some overlapping shade, shades flopping around here. All right, next, <laughs> what do we have next here? Let's go through e.l.f. because it's right in front of me. I don't have too many lippies from e.l.f., just a handful here. So this shouldn't take but a second. Got two from the Mint Chocolate range. These are two glosses. I do like these. Got a nice kind of peachy nude gloss. Just a, a good, good gloss. The formula is really nice on Elf's glosses. They do good, good gloss. And then, I don't know the shade names of these. Uh, this is chocolate chip, and then the nudie one is mint chocolate. Yeah, just really pretty, pretty shades. Love that. So, keeping those, because I like them a lot. Then we got Mocha Twist, which is a really, really good shade. Very pretty. Kind of falls in between there. Just a really just nice glossy shade. Good everyday kind of color. Love that one from e.l.f. Would recommend. Um, this is from the Retro Paradise. This is a really pretty, just kind of iridescent gloss. Uh, not the best formula on this one. It's a little chunky, a little gritty feeling, but it's pretty. It has a really pretty shift to it. It has a pleasant smell. So, yeah, it's just a nice gloss. I like it. Uh, I hate the packaging on these. It feels very cheap, whereas their normal packaging is quite nice. And then this one is from the Electric Mood Collection, and it is awesome. This one is phenomenal. It's very much like a Fenty diamond balm gloss or whatever the Fenty glosses are or like the Maybelline lifter glosses very similar giant doe foot beautiful beautiful reflect in there you don't feel any of the glitters it's smooth super smooth very pretty feels great on the lips awesome gloss I think they still have this on the website and I would recommend it very different packaging too like it's like, it's like a fat and just very sturdy feeling. And I got two of these little matte lipsticks. I think I'm just going to let both these go, but we got T-Rose, which is really just pretty, but yeah, it's quite kind of dry and I don't know. I think it's time to let it go. I've had these a very long time. And then we got Rich Red. It's pretty red. Uh, yeah, it's like dried out, so. Or is it? No. It's just uh, not the kind of red I like. I'm not into the uh, blue base reds like that. So, yeah. Just keeping these few glosses from uh, e.l.f. Rimmel. Because I've got a few little rimmels right here. I've got three. This is their Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is in Rosetto Lo Liquido. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm not reading. This is Devotion. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's pretty. That's a pretty color. It's a nice formula. I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of purples like this, and I just, I don't know, I don't wear them, so I can let it go. I only paid like 30 cents for that. It was on clearance. Then we got 
strapless. Strapless is nice. It is just a really nice kind of your lips but better, whatever type of color. It's a nice everyday color for me. And then we got Plunge, which is a really pretty dark grayish. So I'm gonna keep those two because I do like these two shades quite a bit. And whoop, one more L'Oreal that snuck past me here. This is, uh, I don't know what these are called. It, I never can remember because it's not on the tube. I think it's just called like their signature or something. And I don't know the shade. Amaze. Okay, the shade's Amaze. It was written on there very small. I love these. These are really, really nice. They're, they're, they've got that cooling kind of stain feel to them, but they are very long wearing. They dry down to a matte finish. This color is beautiful. I love it. So yeah, these are really good. I recommend their matte ones like this. They're nice. So yeah, that one definitely staying. That's a color I love. All right, let's move on to Maybelline because I got a lot of Maybelline. Maybelline is one of my favorite lipstick brands. Let me wipe my hand off. Apparently I'm a fan of Maybelline lippies because I have uh, quite a bit here. So let's just start with these lifter glosses. I have three that I love. I would like to get more of these in fact because I do like them quite a bit. And I'm not a huge fan of gloss. I have the Wet n Wild ones I like, the Pat McGrath ones I enjoy, a couple Buxoms. Uh, as far as drugstore goes, the Maybelline Lifters and the Elf ones in Wet n Wild tend to be my favorites. So we got the shade Amber. Amber is, uh, of course, as you can see here, just a pretty amber type of color. Nice warm cream from finish. And then we've got Stone, which is more of a cool toned, kind of almost smokier version. Very pretty. I like both of these. And it is much cooler on the lips than it appears right there. And then we have Moon, which is a beautiful kind of nudie pink or a soft kind of pinky rosy tone. And it's got light kind of icy reflex to it, but it's very subtle. But it's a more of a cool tone kind of lip, but still has a nice kind of warmth to it at the same time. It's very neutral, but it has that cool... Uh, micro glitter within it, but you can't feel them. They're very smooth, beautiful, beautiful glosses. They're very, very plumping feeling and just make your lips feel really good. They're fused with uh, hyaluronic acid, which apparently is good for your lips. I don't know. So they say, and I think they're really nice and they look nice aesthetically. I think they're nice looking uh, components. So yeah, these are good. I, I would like to get more of them and keeping those because I really like these shades a lot. Huge fan. And this comes from somebody who doesn't like gloss. I love these. All right, I got three of these stay all day or super stays. I don't want to swatch these because I won't get them off my hand, but these are just pretty shades. You got a nice red here, kind of a pinky shade, and then a minky kind of nothing shade, which I guess I should kind of swatch just so you can see. Yeah, it's just a pretty, really soft pink nude shade. Uh, we got this one that's a bit more of a rosy kind of pink shade. It's pretty. These are just nice kind of everyday colors. And then the red shade, which I love a good red liquid lipstick, especially in this type of formula. I'm going to keep all three of those because they're just nice. Your shades I enjoy, and um, I don't have shades like the, especially this one in the collection. So, yeah, I've got this one here. This is a Superstay 14-hour lipstick. Gosh, I can't tell what shade this is. It's pretty though. I really did, used this quite a bit when I first got it, but I think it's might be on its way out. I don't know. This still smells really good, and that's a really pretty color. Yeah, you know, I need to whip this out more often. I feel like this is matte, but it has a slight little sheen in there. It's very pretty, very long wearing. So yeah, I want to keep this one because I want to use it some more. Uh, this might be like a project pan type of product, but that's a really pretty color. All right, and then we got one Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I like this formula as well. And this is the shade Coco Connoisseur. Oh, just an absolute favorite here. Beautiful brick red. 
can't go wrong with a gorgeous brick red. So that's staying. Then I got these three ultimates. I really like this formula quite a bit as well. We got some more Auburn here. Just got these. So more Auburn right there, beautiful brick red Auburn shade. We got more truffle, no, more mocha right here. Very pretty, pretty shade. Gorgeous formula on these. And then more truffle, which is a favorite. These two are new in the range. And then this is one of the original shades. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Love these, love these so much. I think they look really nice as well. Nice uh, components. All right, and then I got a few of these guys. I like this formula as well. I loved this range when it first came out. <laughs> I think these are their matte bold lipsticks, what they were called. They still have these, I do believe, floating around. But uh, yeah, I can't remember what these were called exactly. Color Sensationals. I think this was like their bold something range. Not that one, but these four here. And I'm missing bottoms on a couple of them, so I can't tell you the shade. But this one is Mauvet. Mauvet is really pretty. I use this a lot. Still smells good, so yep. Yeah, still looks good. All right, we'll keep Mauvet. Very nice. I love mauve lipsticks as well. It's one of those colors I like. This one, I don't, I might could tell you looking at it. Yeah, I don't remember what this one's called, but it is a gorgeous, you know, brownie shade. I wanna say this one's called like coffee or something like that. I think it was like coffee was the name of this one, but yeah, very pretty. This one is Gone Grage. Oh yeah, this shade I love. You see, these are fairly well loved. <laughs> I've used them down a bit, but yeah, that one's really nice. These have like a almost bouncy texture to them. Like they feel like they have a um, silicone in them or dimethicone, they got that kind of feel to them. And this one is also missing its bottom. So I don't know the shade name, but it looks so good too still. This one, yeah, that one's just a bit of a deeper kind of Berry shade, I don't know. Deeper smoky brown shade. I can't remember this one it was called at all. But maybe I can look back on my blog and put it on the screen because I did do a, a swatch blog post of these. And then we got the black one right here, which is pitch black. Not terrible black lipstick. But eh, compared to other ones I have now in the collection, I think this one can go. All right. And then this one is a color sensational metallic. And this one is in molten bronze. This is beautiful. I don't go for metallic lipsticks very often, but this one, there was something about it that I just thought was so cool because it has like a green shift in it and it's this really pretty like plummy base. I, don't know, I just think it's really cool. I like it, I still like it. So yeah. It's staying. All right, so I got rid of a Maybelline lipstick. All right, and then I got two here from Neutrogena. This is the Hydro Boost. These are really good glosses, by the way. Also, I forget about these existing. These are very similar to the Lifter glosses. They have the uh, hyaluronic acid in them, everything. They're just not as quite pretty packaging, and I just kind of forget out how. But yeah, we got this shade, which is a really pretty berry. It's, it's quite a nice berry, and it does, I don't find that it bleeds everywhere. It makes a mess. So this is a berry lip gloss that I'm gonna hang on to because it's quite nice. And this is the shade Something Wine. Velvet Wine, very pretty name. <laughs> and then I have this nice kind of nudie one which is called Soft Blush. And Neutrogena sent me these, I do believe. So yeah, that's a really just nice kind of nothing gloss. And these are good for just kind of like around the house because they are nourishing on the lips. They're very, very much very similar to the lifter glosses, just not quite as shiny, shiny as those. Two lipsticks from Jason Wu that'll be staying, of course, because I love these so much. This is the Hot Fluff lipsticks, and we've got the shade Cannoli, which is gorgeous. I love these so, so much. All right, Cannoli is a pretty kind of peachy orange, and then we've got Eclair, which is more of a peachy pink in comparison. 
It's still a bit warm. So yeah, really pretty. These are a really nice formula. It's again kind of a almost a moussey lipstick. Um, and they are, uh, you can use them on the eyes and the cheeks as well. So yeah, these are gorgeous and I would like to uh, get more of the Jason Wood lipsticks because I really, really enjoy these. All right, and lastly, I have some Milani up here. As far as drugstore goes, um, I'm deciding if I wanna go ahead, I think I'm gonna do high-end lipsticks separately because I think we've been here a while. So let's go ahead and just power through the rest of these drugstore lipsticks and I'll let you go. <laughs> All right, so from Milani, Milani is another, I love their fetish range, the matte fetish, and I have one of the fetish bombs. I never can remember the exact name of these, but I have two of their bold color statement lipsticks, which are really nice. I have the salt and pepper one, salt and pepper color, and then just one of their regular colors. This is I Am Positive. Let me clean my hand off so I can show you these shades. So we got I Am Positive here, which is a really pretty kind of just brick red color. You know, you know. These are very, very matte. Uh, they might be a little bit drying depending on how you feel about matte lipsticks, but I like them. I like the shade a lot. It's really pretty kind of dark brick. And then this is Shoop, which is a beautiful, beautiful brown lippy. Oh, God, I love that one so much. That is very much a favorite lipstick from Milani. And then for the balm here, this is tied up. This is, I wish I had written on what these are called, but they're like the color fetish balms. I'm not the biggest fan of the balmy texture, but this one is a pretty nice dupe of the NARS Laguna lip gloss or lip balm. And it's pretty, you know, but I'm just not into that formula as much, but I like this one. And yeah, good NARS dupe. And then I think these are very good dupes of Pat McGrath as far as the formula goes of the matte trans lipsticks. Formula wise, these are really, really close to her lipsticks. Um, color wise, uh, kind of close. I think you could find some dupes within the range. I haven't really tried to dupe them, but uh, formula wise, definitely a dupe. But first we've got Secret, which is just the, I think this is the lightest one I have because the lighter shades are always sold out. But yeah, here's Secret, really pretty, just kind of a everyday easy peasy, nothing color. I got Desire, which is a gorgeous brown. You know how I feel about them coffee brown lipsticks. We got Passion, which is my favorite. Gorgeous kind of raisin. That's what that other one's called. The um, That Maybelline one that I couldn't think of the name. It's something raisin. Raging raisin maybe? I don't know. It was something raisin. Okay, so anyways, this is a nice raisin shade here. Passion. And it is, I think, my favorite of them all. And then we've got... Sensational, which is gorgeous, dark, dark, almost black brown shade, kind of blackened, plummy brown, very nice. It wears pretty good too for a really dark shade like that, and I like it. Uh, so, yeah, those are keepers because I just recently picked these up and I love them. And yeah, we got two of the other ones that I hang that I'm, and we got two of the bold statement matte whatever we're keeping and last 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 I have a few like random brands I have this is a true matte lipstick from Broadway colors I got this for one penny at the dollar store <laughs> and it's a matte black lipstick and guess what it's a pretty nice matte black lipstick <laughs> so yeah it's it's a decent formula so I'm keeping it it's pretty good it's very unexpected, and it was a penny at Dollar General. This is a BH Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick that I think can go. It's pretty old, and I haven't reached for it a really long time. I mean, it's pretty shade, but it's just, you know, metallic. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I need it. I haven't used it in a long time, so it can go. And then this is a Makeup Revolution uh, matte... Or look, this is in the shade Lux. This is like they're them trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury and they're not good. <laughs> like this is just not a great lipstick. It's a pretty color, but yeah, I don't know. 
the formula is kind of garbage, so. And lastly, I got an AOA Studio from Shop Miss A Velvet Lips, and this is in this shade. Is it on here? Harper. This is really pretty. This is a gorgeous red lip stain, liquid lipstick, moussey formula. Really nice, so I'm keeping that. All right, cool. So as far as drugstore goes, we've gotten rid of a good bit from the collection of stuff that I'm just really not gonna use, don't need. <sighs> yeah, the, just shades that don't work for me or they're expired. So I'm gonna go through these and see what I can give to a, a friend type of thing, friend, family, and what's gonna go just in the trash. So yeah, that is uh, what we are decluttering from the drugstore lipstick products. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know, do you enjoy any of these formulas? Is there any more drugstore lippies you think I need to check out formula-wise that you think I would like based on what you see here? And uh, yeah, that's all for today. I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye now.